Hello and thank you for taking the time to review this brief video which is meant to help you out in your installation of the Raven Smart Yield Pro Harvest System. We'll be showing the installation on two different machines today. This new harvest system is CAN based and brings you improved accuracy and reliability in addition to a refined user interface, simplified calibration and easier installation. One thing we won't be covering today is running the cabling since this is pretty specific to each machine. But we do want to mention that clean power is a must in this installation, so make sure your Raven CAN cabling is connected directly to the battery for best performance. First, we need to make sure we have either a Raven Invisio Pro 2 or Invisio Pro XL in the cab of the machine we'll be installing on, and we need to make sure the software version is at least 3.7 or greater. To make sure we have everything we need before installing, let's take a minute to review a few things. In addition to the Invisio Pro, we'll need the Smart Yield Pro kit, which contains things seen here. Zip ties, a Smart Yield node, two yield sensors, installation and operation manuals, various hardware for mounting, a test weight scale, moisture sensor, node mounting hardware, and the Smart Yield harness. The tools listed on the screen will cover any Smart Yield Pro installation, but you might not necessarily need them all. We would also suggest the use of the Raven Smart Yield installation kit shown here, which can prove very useful during an installation as it contains many of the required tools. Our first step will be to install the yield sensors, but before we connect any cables or drill any holes, we need to locate a safe mounting location on the clean grain elevator. We need to make sure that any moving parts are not affected by the yield sensor or the mounting brackets. You will also want to have the installation manual handy as there are measurements provided to help you get it in the right place. If your make and model of machine is not listed in the manual, you may need to access your grain elevator and measure your paddles. You will want your yield sensor to hit the area on the screen shown in green. If it is hitting anywhere in the red area, it will lead to improper yield data. So make sure and take your time and get the measurements right. Remember, we'll be mounting two yield sensors and they need to be as perfectly straight across from one another as we can get them. Accuracy on the mounting is key. First, let's determine the best location for the outer sensor. Measure and mark the location of where the sensor will be installed, referring to the installation manual for model-specific measurements, on how far the sensor should be from the elevator sidewall. Then draw a line around the grain elevator, ensuring it is level, to help line up the second sensor location which will be installed on the lift side of the grain elevator. A carpenter square or level can be helpful. Using the same measurement from the sidewall as you did on the front of the grain elevator, mark the location for the second sensor on the back side. After the sensor locations are measured and marked, you should drill pilot holes to make sure the way is clear before drilling out completely. You may want to run the elevator to move the paddles to ensure they are not in the way. If the way is clear, drill out the mount holes with a 7 8 inch hole saw bit. Next, put together the sensor assembly as shown here. We are demonstrating the use of a standard bracket with magnetic mounts. Your installation may require the universal bracket or use of rivets if your grain elevator is non-magnetic. Use what best fits your installation. Make sure to remember and level your sensor with the bottom of the magnetic mounts, just like you see here. But you may still need to adjust it a bit when it is installed so that it fits flush to the wall. Finally, mount the yield sensors with the magnetic mount that best suits your install needs. The sensors should point directly at each other through the grain elevator, and the sensor cap should be flush with the elevator wall without any gaps. Now that we have the yield sensors installed, it's time to take care of the moisture sensor. Before drilling any holes, we need to pick the location for that sensor. Raven gives you the flexibility to mount the moisture sensor on either the access panel or on the grain tank auger. Raven suggests using the access panel unless you are harvesting crops that are especially dirty or wet. As you can see from an installed sensor, the access panel mounting just requires a bit of drilling. So, we've opted to show you the tank auger installation. The tank auger location generally keeps the sensor cleaner longer, but it may be hard to reach to keep clean. 
After we verified the best location on the tank auger, a pilot hole is drilled, then a hole saw bit is used to cut an install hole for the moisture sensor. Finally, the moisture sensor is installed. Now that all of our sensors are installed, we can move on to tying Smart Yield Pro into the header cutout switch. If there is not a factory installed rotary switch or potentiometer to tell if the header is up or down, an optional Raven rotary switch can be installed, which you can see here. If there is a factory installed switch, all you need to do is make sure you get the correct cable from Raven, which will allow you to tee into the combine's header height harness. The final piece of hardware to install is the Smart Yield node. The node can be installed at any place where it will not interfere with normal machine operation. Additionally, the node must be mounted perpendicular to the machine and with the direction arrow 3 pointing to the ground. This must be done to ensure the internal tilt sensor works correctly. As you can see here, installing the node on the bracket is simple and once it's attached to the bracket, you can mount it and attach the Smart Yield Pro cabling. From here, you can finish the remaining cabling required to install the system. In addition to installing your cabling, these basic steps will help you get your Smart Yield Pro Harvest system installed. In our next video, we will take you through the setup of a system on a Raven Invisio Pro field computer. Thanks for stopping by.